Hello everyone, so today I am going to show you an introduction to actors. Actors are the models and visual effects you see in your StarCraft playing. So in your StarCraft 2 editor, open up the data tab. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to make a copy of a marine and then also how to make an ability have a more dramatic visual effect or just place a visual into your ability. So first what you want to do is just make a new unit. So I'm going to name it like something random. Marine dummy, sure. And suggest it. And then you can just kind of fiddle around with things to make it how you want. And then to save time, I'm going to use the copy from button. But usually it's better to do it all by hand. Because sometimes copying it causes some errors, but usually this works pretty well. So now it has pretty much the same thing as Marine, except as you notice in the uh, bottom left, there is a it, there's no marine icon whereas you click normal marine there's an icon because this marine dummy is not linked to an actor so what you do is you go to the actors and you have to make a new actor so I'll name it marine dummy and I'm going to make it a unit And again, I'm going to copy it from the marine, just because it will turn out better that way. So now, as you can see on the right, the art model is the marine. And everything else is pretty much the same as the marine, except down here on the token, instead of marine, you want to make the unit you just made. So marine, this marine, and see since I copied it, it made a little error and it changed my unit name. So now my unit is called marine. So I'm gonna have to change the name again to marine dummy. So now I can go back to my actor, and if if you just wanted the model, you don't really want any extra special effects added to your unit, which I will not cover in this video as it is very advanced and this is a beginner's tutorial. You would just go to the normal unit and you would go to events, and what you would do is you would make a new one, and you would make a unit birth, and then under the action damage thing that automatically comes up you want to change that to create and then if you did that it would you uh, and also under the uh, source name you would have to pick the marine that you made or whatever the unit is so then whenever that unit is created it will use the same actor as the marine but I will not be doing that so I will remove it and go back to my dummy actor so then you check the events to make sure that everything is correct and since I copied it this is actually not correct so you'll have to reset them all and until they're not red I will not do that for time saving purposes it will, the actor will still work, those are just things for extra effects. So now that you have a marine, you notice when you go back to the marine dummy, there's an icon. So now you have your fake marine. So now if I go back here and I add it, it makes a marine. It looks exactly the same. 
So that's how you make a unit. So now let's say on Stimpact, you want your Stimpact to have the feedback kind of a effect on your unit. So you go to your actors and it's it's really it's a lot easier if you base your stuff off of a pre-made ability. So if I go to feedback and I want the impact it's nice to just look at it for reference to see what it does. So now that I can see it, I want to make a new one. So I'm going to you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Stimpact uh, Feedback, sure. It doesn't really matter as long as you know what it is. And you, you want to make it the same as the other one. So the one you're basing it off of, so a model. And again, it's nice to copy, but sometimes it causes problems. So I'm not going to copy it this time. So on the art model, you want to make it the same thing as the other one. So feedback again, find the model. So impact for me. And then under the events, you can keep the basic stuff there but you want to make effect on you want to create a new one and make effect for that and then under the source name you want to find the ability that you want to do so impact and then when it impacts and then create so now it will create the uh, feedback animation whenever you use Stimpact. And also you want to add a term to this so that to make sure you want to make it at the caster to make sure that it actually goes on the marine and then it should work. Although what you have to realize is that for some animations they won't go away until you destroy them. So this one does not have that problem, but some do. So what you would have to do is do the uh, same thing and figure out when the uh, effect ends. So like for instance, maybe when the uh, buff stops, then you have to make it destroy instead of create. And then it will go away. So, that's all there is to it. That's a very beginner's tutorial on actors. And once again, thank you for watching.